Just months after several new police reform laws took effect in Washington, Spokane police say they want more tools that are less lethal. SPD now asking city council for approval to buy them. Krem 2's Amanda Rowley live in the newsroom tonight with what tool they're looking to buy and where that funding comes from. Amanda? Yeah, Mark and Whitney, Spokane police want to buy 100 additional pepper ball launchers. Now these are considered a less lethal tool that comply with Washington state's police reform laws. So the state allocated funds for Washington law enforcement agencies like SPD to make one time purchases like this. Now Spokane police chose these pepper ball launchers and another launcher called the FN 303. It will cost nearly $68,000 to purchase 100 of them. The city of Spokane was awarded $890,000 from the state and city council will determine if SPD can use those funds for these launchers. Now this afternoon, Sergeant Mike McNabb shared with the Public Safety Committee if these launchers have ever critically injured someone. So the pepper ball, no, but the FN 303, yes. Um, that was deployed, I think it was back in the Midwest during a um, civil disturbance and the person was struck in the eye um, and that was a tragic event. I don't have all the details on it. Your pepper ball Sergeant McNabb FTC says any Spokane out. police officer who uses this device would stay away from the head and neck. They would only aim for large muscle mass areas where pepper ball projectile would cause bruising. Now, Sergeant McNabb says the department wants to have a pepper ball launcher in every patrol car. City Council will discuss this request in its meeting tonight at 6. Reporting in the newsroom, Amanda Rowley, Crime 2 News.